Of course, as we've been doing all hour long, we are honoring and remembering our friend Jerry Tad. Jerry was a meteorologist here for 33 years. He was also a veteran of the U.S. Air Force, and Jerry said his interest in meteorology actually came from his experience flying those planes. Well, these days, small aircraft like this is more my speed, but you know, there was a time when I used to fly a lot higher and a lot faster. True story. I once was Captain Jerry Taft, United States Air Force. They used to call me the Cloverleaf Kid, although it took more than luck to fly supersonic fighter jets. And you know, I always felt my degree in meteorology gave me a little bit of an edge. Jerry's transition to television started in 1974 while he was at the Randolph Air Force Base near San Antonio, Texas. When he came to ABC7, he was part of the first morning show with Alan Krzyzewski. Yeah, that's right. Alan actually had a scheduled day off today, so he's joining us live right now remotely to talk more about his friend. And Alan, I know every time you shared a story about Jerry, it was always with a smile on your face. You know what, Judy, that is so true. Terrell, it's so great to talk to you as well. Here's the thing. Jerry is the kind of person who honestly had enough life experiences and he could relate stories, genuine stories, that could fill 10 lifetimes. Uh, you were talking about how he entered the meteorology field to begin with, and the reality is when he was at Randolph Air Force Base at that time uh, and flying, uh, of course, for our nation's service, uh, he actually, it was a fluke that he was asked to fill in in San Antonio one weekend, and they liked his personality so much that they decided to give him a job. It was that kind of a situation. Wow. He also told the story of how he thought he was going to get paid uh, a thousand $1,400 a month, which was an incredible amount of money for him. And then he found out that actually it was only $14 that he was getting paid for his particular weather cap. <laughs> but that was Jerry, just so transparent. Just uh, it's what made him so likable to so many of us is that whenever he made a mistake on the air, whenever he had that, uh, that laughter uh, and sometimes a, a laughing fit for us <laughs> on the air, you couldn't help but find and relate to him and say, I just want to hang with this guy. <laughs> Alan, you, you had the, the great fortune of working with him. It, it seems pretty much every day. I mean, do you have a favorite memory that stands out to you? I know that's a tough question. <laughs> Well, I'm going to tell you what, here's a story I'm going to relate to you that uh, uh, it certainly didn't happen on the air, but it tells you the kind of person Jerry is. For most of his life, Jerry, of course, uh, had been fighting the habit of smoking. And, and it was when he was doing the 10 o'clock newscast, it was not unusual for him after the newscast, he'd stop by the Maxwell Street Market there on the near west side by UIC and stop and get either a Polish or an Italian beef to eat in the car on the way home. <laughs> now, he had been smoking, and he didn't want the family at home to know that he had been smoking. One night, he finishes his Polish there in the car and realizes he's almost home, and they're going to know that he's been smoking because he smells like smoke. So what he does is he takes his hand and literally dips it in the juice that remains from the tray <laughs> from the sausage and puts it on his neck oh and gosh. on his face and hopes that his wife won't notice that he's been smoking again. Oh, gosh. Yeah. <laughs> Jerry Jared, uh, and his stories. And the other thing, Alan, is he his, his wit, he was so quick. He was so quick on the air. It didn't matter. Nothing, really nothing phased him. No, nothing tripped him up. If he, and, if, and if it did... Jerry had an ability to take it through that transparency to just have us relate. He was human. He didn't try to cover it up. He didn't get embarrassed. I remember one time he mentioned, he said, hey, uh, that's really, really great that Windy City Live has a former NBA player, Mark McGuire, on today. And I said, Jerry, it's not Mark McGuire. It's they're having a choir on today <laughs> to sing. Oh, geez. Oh, Alan. We can laugh. Yeah. Sad, but we can laugh. That's yes, it. yes, yeah. it, it's so true. Jerry does leave us laughing mm -hmm. uh, today as we remember him. Alan, thanks so much for joining us. I know you're going to be carrying this news with a heavy heart through the weekend, so take care of yourself too, my friend. Um, there are so many memories to share about Jerry's time with us. As you can tell, so many stories to share with you. Rest in peace, our friend. Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC7 Chicago YouTube channel.